All right, so now we're going to look at some of the editing features inside of Pro Tools. And editing is one of the things that really makes Pro Tools, uh, I, I think, is what, what has caused it to be the leader in, in audio workstations. Um, it, uh, the ease of editing, it's, it's so easy to get around and it's so easy to chop up your audio and do what you want to it. Um, that that's, you know, that's what's made it a, one of the things that's made it a very popular program. So I'm just going to show you a couple really basic editing things and hopefully get you on your way uh, editing inside of Pro Tools. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a look at this drum track here. And uh, it's a good sound in drum track, but there's a fill uh, kind of about halfway through that I, I don't really like. It's a little bit too much. And I'll, I'll show you this fill here. probably heard that a couple times as we've been playing this song. Uh, but so if I select that fill, this is just a one bar uh, fill here. I just click and drag and, and select that. If, if I want to make sure that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm selecting the right thing, I can just hit play. That's right. Okay, so that's the thing I want to replace. I want to get rid of that. So first of all, you know, you select it and you can just delete it. And so there we have a, a little one bar Empty, empty space there now. And obviously, we have to fill that with something. So I want to go uh, find uh, something that'll, that'll fit in there from the, remaining, you know, the rest of the drum track. I think at the very beginning here, the first bar, just that first bar, just the drums kind of playing the groove. If I select that, and I go up to Edit, and I hit Copy, or the hotkey for that is Apple C. So if you Apple C that, and then I go back to my empty space here, and I select that, and then you go up to Edit and Paste, it'll paste that, uh, that, first, that first bar in that little uh, empty space there. So now if I, if I click a little bit before, before that and just do the playback, Now we have a little, a nice little edited together uh, uh, clip here without such a crazy fill uh, in the middle of it. There's a fill uh, at the end here, but let's say I like that one and that one's fine. Um, so now, uh, so that's you know just simple copying and pasting. Again, Apple C and Apple V. Apple C is copy, Apple V is paste. And uh, I want to reiterate that because that's such a simple thing that you 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 totally should know. Actually, you, you probably do know from other programs. Uh, it's the same in you know Microsoft Word when you're doing copy and paste. It's Apple C, Apple V. Uh, so just get familiar with that. Apple C, Apple V, um, because that's going to make your life really easy. Just um, going around chopping up audio, copying stuff, pasting stuff, uh, and that'll be uh, that'll be uh, really really good for you. So uh, let's expand this a little bit further here. Um, let's say I want. You know, I, I'm happy with this little um, eight-bar section, the drums and the guitars, uh, and I want to repeat that. Now, there's, uh, as I said before, there's a number of ways to do the same thing inside of Pro Tools, uh, but let's let's just um, do how we did with the with the drum track there. But let's select, and you you're just going to click and drag with your selector tool over your entire uh, section here, over the whole eight bars. And if I, uh, if I hit copy, which is Apple C again, Apple C, and then I, I put my selector uh, uh, at the end of the track here, and I, and, I, and I hold shift, and I select so it's on all the tracks, and I hit Apple V, that's going to paste that. I'll zoom out. And uh, so that's, that's one way to do it. Um, I'm going to undo that. An even easier way uh, is if, if I, again, select everything, and I go up to Edit and Duplicate. This is a really cool feature. Apple D makes a lot of sense. Duplicate. Boom. Just duplicates the file one right after, right after the next. And everything that's selected, everything that's black, that's what it's going to be duplicating. So if I, if I hit Apple D, Apple D, 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 and I zoom out, you can see that that's, it's really easy to just loop uh, you know, an entire section of that whole thing is just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Uh, that's, uh, and I'm going to show you a third way to do it. 
I'm just undoing, which is Apple Z. Another good, uh, definitely a good key to know, along with Apple S, save. Uh, another way to do this is uh, to go up to, if I, if I do my same selection here, you know, I, I make this all black, it's all selected. If I go up to uh, edit and repeat, which is option R, this is, this is a cool feature because you can specify the number of repeats that you, that you want. Let's say I know that I want it to repeat uh, eight times. I just hit eight, I hit OK, and it repeats it eight times. So uh, as you can see, it's really, uh, it's really uh, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of ways to do the, the same thing inside of Pro Tools. And uh, hopefully that gives you, um, uh, you know, just a, a brief little head start in, in, uh, in, in editing. And I just encourage you to, you know, just chop up your stuff and, and move it around and, and, and get familiar with that. Uh, because the faster you are at it, um, the more it becomes something that, uh, that you enjoy doing and just, just a tool uh, instead of a, a chore and, and, and a problem you're working around uh, inside of Pro Tools. But when you're in grid mode uh, and, you're, and you're working inside a session that's uh, based on a click, inside of Pro Tools is really easy to, to, uh, to get around and do some basic editing. <laughs>